Another method to uh, identify a proximal hamstring tendinopathy is to implement not only a contractile force to the hamstring, but also put the hamstring in a position of tendon compression. So one way we can do that is to put the patient's leg into a 90-90 position and then ask the patient to push their heel down towards the table and we'll see if that elicits their familiar symptoms. If this doesn't, but we're still highly suspicious that it's a proximal hamstring tendinopathy, we can then introduce more hip flexion, which will apply a greater degree of tendon compression to the proximal hamstring, and then again, ask the patient to push down with their heel towards the table. A positive sign would be a familiar reproduction of their buttock pain.